Well, this gender equality has really gone off the rails, along with half the trains in our country, thanks to Pete No Buttigieg. How did that guy get in office? Anyway, so now they're saying we don't have enough black doctors. 16% of America is black, but only 6% are medical professions. So now we're hiring doctors not based on their abilities, but their color, because we need to get more black doctors in. So imagine this, you know, you're going in for brain surgery, which I probably will be doing next week. And, uh, you know, I've scouted out some of the top physicians and I found one that, hey, this guy is the bomb. He happened to be white. So I'm in the sedation room getting ready to be sedated for my surgery. And one of the nurses comes in and he goes, well, there's a ch slight change in plans. Your doctor will now be Abdul Rahman. Uh, he's a black guy. And why is that? Well, because we don't have enough black surgeons. So even though he hasn't operated on a brain yet, he passed the color test. So don't you worry. You'll be lucky. You'll be one of the first patients to be operated on by this black doctor. I said, what, hey, what about the white guy? You know, that has all the credentials. Uh, we can't use him, I'm sorry. He's already met his quota of surgeries. So, there you have it. I guess the moral of the story is if you want to get into the medical profession, <coughs> profession just dye your skin black. There's pigment injections you can use. Probably the black doctors will give it to you. And you can go online and get your Armenian credentials. I think they accept those in L.A. And presto, you will be on the surgery, in the surgery room, cutting away.